GoPro Labs uh, has some cool shit you might not know about, including some stuff they've recently added. Go, uh, it's extensions for GoPro Labs. And if you didn't know about it, we've talked a little bit about these before in the fact of like changing bitrate. But yeah, um, first, I was for, to... for, the, for, for anybody who doesn't know, what's GoPro Labs? GoPro Labs is basically a new firmware you can flash that's a sort of a beta test, uh, fancy feature firmware to your GoPro. Most GoPros can get it. Most, uh, Almost all GoPros have some form of Labs firmware. And that Labs firmware essentially lets you uh, yeah, do a bunch of tweaks and hacks and fancy stuff. You get extra it features and, and changes and basically kind of unlocks the GoPro in a lot of cases. It is official too. It's not like some, it's from GoPro. And Correct. basically a bunch of high-end features that not everybody would want, but nerds like us want. So you just flash That's this correct. firmware and boom, your GoPro super extra power features. So what do they add? Yeah. Um, so a bunch of new stuff. Um, this page kind of summarizes all these extensions. I wanted to find somewhere that showed you kind of all of them. So these are all the different things you can do uh, with your with your uh, GoPro. And a lot of these are also uh, metadata information. So. Uh, basically, if you go on to their metadata page, which is linked at the top here, and then you drop in your file from the GoPro, you can see all the settings that were active at that time in case you forgot like what you set, right? Um, all that will basically be dumped out for you um, as information. But you can also go through and just uh, set a bunch of different things. And you can do these with QR codes typically. So you write them in a form of a QR code. And then you um, activate them, and essentially it'll just change different things, right? So you can get it to show you levels and change uh, labs messages and you know all kinds of things. But if you scroll down, um, all the way down, uh, almost basically to the bottom, you'll see um, Wait, here are eleven. Looking. Yeah, there's a bunch of cool ones in here for sure. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, oh, uh, basically, all the way at the, the bottom there's. SD? That's that's I didn't even know about half of these. Okay, okay, all yeah, the way to the bottom. Yeah, there's a, okay, right, just up a little bit, uh, right there. So we got a few new features here we wanted to point out, and a user sent these into us. Um, so IWFR is increased write frequency to support higher precision file recoveries. If you've ever had a big crash and ejects the battery, you may notice file recovery miss five to 15 seconds. This hack increases the rate video is flushed to the SD card. With this enabled, battery injects will not lose more than one to two seconds of footage. So that's pretty crazy, right? Yeah. I mean, we haven't seen anything like, I mean, that's uh, that could be huge for people who are like, ah, oh, I missed the end and I don't know where I right. crashed, or, you know, or whatever happened, right? And you want to get that footage, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully you won't lose anything at the end of that flight. Also, you can now uh, store LRV files as Adobe Premiere Pro proxy files. Um, so that's just automatic in the camera. You can set that mm -hmm. setting. That's nice. Uh, that's nice because like Mike, uh, if you don't have like a top, top, top end computer and you're recording your GoPro at 4K or, or 5.6K or whatever the top of the backs is, uh, those proxy files can make, they're, they're basically just low resolution proxies that makes image editing or video editing a lot smoother. But it takes for freaking ever to render the proxy files. And GoPros have always made a low resolution proxy. The, that LRV file that's right next to your actual files, that's what the GoPro app uses when you're doing real-time playback because they, they, they can't download the whole file in real-time over Wi-Fi. So they've just changed this now so those LRV files are actual Adobe proxies, basically. And then you yeah. got the proxies ready to go. That's pretty slick. Pretty cool stuff. And they even uh, formatted them correctly with the names, with the proxy in the name now, and they put them in a folder for you. So it's like literally ready to go for Adobe, which is pretty neat. Brilliant, brilliant. And the last one, many people will like, is trust USB power. Um, so if there's any USB sources that have issues, and they, you know, um, we've talked this before, where basically the I, the old iFlight cable does not identify that it can actually do the right amount of power. Um, the new iFlight balance cable can do that, but the old one did not have the little uh, resistors in there or whatever it is to indicate that it could could do the correct amperage mm -hmm. so um now you can flip this to usb equals one on and with the new firmware you can now use those old iflight cables or anything else yeah. that doesn't uh, prove that it can send you the right power nice very nice um for anybody who's having that bug the fix is to flash the uh the gopro labs firmware and use this option or to get a yeah. new a new balance plug but why would you um, yeah, previously yeah. it was to roll back to a firmware that didn't look for this. And now you yeah. can flash to the new labs firmware and use this feature. So 
Yeah, the problem was never people people were, would reach out to me and they'd say, "Hey, I've got this power cable and my GoPro says it can't provide enough power. What should I do?" And I'm like, "It can provide enough power. It's just that it isn't telling the GoPro that it can provide enough power, and it's assuming that the GoPro is dumb enough to not care." And the yeah, GoPro so finally the got smart enough to care. Yeah, yeah, which was the case until they finally decided to add that protection in. So yeah, uh, I just want to say shout out to GoPro. These are great changes, and there's a lot of there's a ton of features here that they never had to add for anybody, that they've added for tons of users. And like, if you have not gone through these, you should. I mean, you can change all kinds of individual things, exact do, bit rates, yeah, uh, two hundred megabits per settings. second. Yeah, um, encoding settings. Uh, you can do exact frame rates. You can change auto exposure damping settings. Like there's very granular settings you can change. Yeah. Um, if you've never gone in and looked, so pretty cool stuff. Very nice. Very nice. Um, I should do even a video like, about GoPro Labs. I haven't actually played with it very much. Yeah. Even like they even have tone mapping. So like in camera contrast control settings, you can change like which settings they use for how they use it and stuff. Like yeah, very very cool stuff. So awesome. 